Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's my utmost pleasure to always bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. God bless all our first timers. If this is the first time you are coming across my channel, um, I, I want to welcome you especially. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is a divine connection. I really do believe if God let you here, you have a special role to play on this channel. And by the grace of God, I have a special role to play in your spiritual life as well. This is a divine encounter. And I pray that we, we both make good use of it. I pray most especially that you align yourself to hear what god has for you through this platform maybe god wants us to pray pray concerning a particular issue you're going through or god has a prophetic word for you through me um, whatever the case may be i just pray that you align yourself so that you do not miss out on this word god has for you so please check to see if you're already subscribed if not go ahead and touch that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a new word you will not miss out hallelujah glory to god and to all my returning subscribers you have a special place in my heart i always pray for you i always position myself in a place where i can hear what what God has in mind so that I can read in, in turn, you know, relay it back to you. God bless you abundantly. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all you do for this platform. God bless you immensely. Hallelujah. So the Lord laid a word in my heart. And when the Lord dropped that word, I mean, it is really sad. It is really sad because life has become so perverse and even the things we, we we thought connotes love even the things we thought um were an evidence of love a symbol of love have instead become a, a, a symbol of betrayal it has lost its meaning it has lost its value the lord says someone kissed you but it was a kiss of death someone kissed you but it was a kiss of death and i began asking myself how is it so how can someone kiss you and it becomes a kiss of death was it your intention did something go wrong because we uh, um, in real life kisses symbolizes love it symbolizes friendship it symbolizes loyalty you know when someone gets to kiss you it means there is a degree of intimacy with you both you know there are different cultures in the year the French with, with the French cultures people greet by kissing you know they greet by kissing um, which is quite different from the English culture but all in all kissing has a very great significance when people greet by kissing in the French culture, it still means that I love you, I am loyal to you, I, 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 I have you, you know. And in the English culture, kissing means um, I'm loyal to you, we have a special bond, there is something special we share. We don't just walk on the road kissing everyone that comes by. And it becomes problematic when someone kisses you and that kiss doesn't connote loyalty and that kiss doesn't connote uh, uh, intimacy it has lost its meaning totally and completely while i was still one pondering on the prophetic word while i was still trying to understand what god meant the holy spirit just led me to what happened to jesus jesus and judas is carried now Judas Iscariot was a disciple of Jesus. This is someone that Jesus chose to do ministry with. He was in his inner core. Of course, we know that there were more than 100 people who followed Jesus. The Bible recounts that there were 120 waiting in the upper room. It means these 120 people were were uh, uh, um, um, followers of Christ, and uh, the Bible recount, recounts there were 72 people got got uh, that jesus prayed to them and sent them to do evangelism they came back with signs and wonders and now there were 12 people 
who were his core disciples. These 12 people were the, were the ones he had chosen to do ministry. The 72 and the 120 that came to him, they all came. We do not have any story of God, God of Jesus going to them, but they came to him. But for the 12, Jesus selected them. He carefully handpicked them to do ministry with. He carefully handpicked them. At the point he, he told them, right now you are no longer slaves. I call you friends. So they moved from being servants to being his friends. That was the relationship he had with them. He had an inner relationship with them. There were times he would teach just them, you know, because he had that special bond with them. And it, 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 it should be so painful. Jesus spoke about it. It means it was painful to him. It was hurtful that he gets betrayed by a kiss from someone that he loved someone, someone that he called and someone he had chosen to be with him. When the Pharisees and, and the people who sought to kill Jesus, you know, they came through someone that was really close to him. Maybe because of the fact that uh, uh, naturally Judas liked money. They used his love for money to betray Jesus. They used his love for money to sell Jesus. And they asked him so because he had fraternized with them so much so that they all looked alike. They were all, uh, um, I mean, they were all, they all looked alike. And they were like, okay, so how do we know? This person is Jesus. How do we know that Jesus to arrest? Because you, you all look the same. And Judas told them, the one I will kiss is the Son of God. The one I will kiss is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The one I have sold. And when they came to arrest Jesus, Judas was there with him. And when they came, Judas kissed Jesus as a sign of uh, as an indication that this is the Messiah. And Jesus, being so heartbroken, asked him, you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? You betray me with a kiss? The one who called you, you betray me with a kiss? The one who has taught you and kept you so close? The Bible recounts that Judas was the personal trait. I mean, uh, um, um, theolo theology tells us that Judas was the was the was the personal treasurer of Jesus. I trusted you so much and yet you betrayed me with a kiss. Do you know why betrayal is most of the times really painful? Because it comes from the people we love the most. Betrayal, betrayal is so painful because it comes from people we trust, people we love, people we have committed a certain aspect of our lives to. That is why betrayer hurts the most. Someone kissed you, but that kiss was a kiss of death. It was a kiss of betrayal. It was a kiss that sold you over. It was a kiss that handed you over to your enemies. And I understand how painful it can be because even Jesus being the son of God did not take this betrayal lightly. It really did hurt him. But the good news is that the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 28, if I'm not wrong, it says all things work it together for good to they that love God and accord according to his purpose. So they, in, they, they, they betrayed you, betrayed your loyalty, betrayed your love. But God will find a way to turn it around in the mighty name of Jesus. At the end of the shenanigans, Jesus fulfilled his destiny. As a matter of fact, Jesus used Judas' greed and, and whatever love for money to push Jesus towards fulfilling his destiny. That is what is going to be for you. The devil might intend it for evil, but God is going to turn it around for your good. The same way it happened to Joseph. Cheer up, child of God. Be of good cheer. Forget about those that betrayed you. Forget about those that took your loyalty for granted. Forget about those that lo pretended to love you just to get into your inner circle, just so they can have information against you. God is with you. He is standing right there with you. And he will make that situation beautiful. 
Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.